Hey YouTube, Gummy Breakman here. Most of you who are probably watching this, um, many of you probably came from Miss Hannah Minx and I want to thank you, welcome to the channel, etc. I usually try to keep this channel for, I don't know, lighthearted stuff, fun stuff, but apparently I'm still an angry young man, even at this uh, ripe old age. I'm not that old. But anyway, um, I'll tell you a quick story, okay? I was, um, I was a troubled kid, like a lot of you kids, probably. Um, what else are you doing on the internet? Is that about having fun? But I was, um, I guess, about 15 or 16, and um, for complicated reasons that I can't get into, my father was not in the house. For he, he was he was living apart from our family, and not as dramatic as you might think. But um, of course, it was very stressful for my mother on my mother because uh, they were actually very close. But uh, for um, for complicated reasons, anyway, uh, you know, they were living apart and. I was a teenager, full of testosterone, going through a lot, uh, you know, as, as most teenagers do, causing problems, causing my mom lots of problems. Um, she was having trouble dealing with me, and um, I had a. F and my my father's very. Latin. I mean, we're Latin, okay. We're originally from Peru, Italian grandfathers, etc. Um, machismo runs in our blood, uh, for better or for worse. And uh, my father called on the phone to say, he's like, you know, I'm the old, you're the oldest of the family, Victor, what are you doing? You know, I'm counting on you. I'm, you know, I can't be there now, so, um, so you gotta, you gotta, you know, take care of the, you, you, you don't cause problems, right, et cetera, you know what I'm saying. And uh, I had, you know, I had secrets as, as most young men think they do, you know, they think they're special, everyone who's young thinks they're, their secrets are unique to themselves. And of course, they aren't. We find this out later, but at the time, uh, it seems that way. But um, my father, being you know really old-fashioned, uh, said something that, that was not necessary, but always stuck in my mind because of the significance. He said, um, whatever it is, you know, we can work it out. It'll be OK. And he said, <laughs> like, are you gay? <laughs> And um, you know, and it and it, it wasn't that I that I that wasn't the issue because I'm not and uh, and I wasn't. But um, I kind I think I even might have laughed uh, when he suggested that. You know, what was it? You know, what is it? Are you gay? Are you having? Are you doing drugs? What's going on? Are you in a, in a gang? Um, but I remember at that time, and even months, years, you know, even now, I, I remember thinking, wow, that must have been pretty hard for my dad to do to 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 say it will be okay even if you're gay and the reason is because of who we are as people as Americans uh, we're the it's that that kind of thing of it's okay even if you're gay even if you're gay you know shouldn't be an issue of course as we know now as as our country and as the world is is, is evolving we know it's not that big a deal nowadays, but but it is. I mean, that's the problem. It still is in a lot of places. And so if all of y'all of you, or most of you probably heard, I, I hope, if you, if you saw the headline up, up there, the title of the video. So this young kid, Tyler Clementi, um, apparently was gay, apparently was in the closet. And if you don't know the story, I'll leave links below, but he, um, he was outed forcibly when his roommate uh, taped his sexual uh, activities you know secretly and then broadcast it on the internet not to a lot of people mind you it looks like he, he only had a I don't know a few followers on Twitter but still enough it was very embarrassing for the kid kid couldn't deal with it and he, he jumped off a bridge now I've always been of the, of the of the mind that suicide is a cowardly uh, you know choice decision and option and um, I've always been against it. And I'll tell you a quick story. It's not my story to tell, really. I feel kind of guilty telling you this story, but but it's an important story, and maybe it'll I don't know, help some of you. But um, my girlfriend in high school, actually, um, her father committed suicide when she was I don't know three or something or very young. And he um, he wrote a bunch of notes. He hated apparently hated his wife, and he wrote a bunch of notes and he put them, you know, in. He wrote little notes and he put them in books all over the place. He just stuffed them into the books everywhere, all over the house, under the couch, you know, all over the place. So after he committed suicide, for months later, they were still finding these notes. 
uh, he wanted people to, he wanted everyone to know it was her fault. And she want, he wanted her to know it was her fault that he committed suicide, you know. Um, of course, this is very different from what Tyler Clementi was, uh, was doing. But, but after I heard that story, I always thought, yeah, you know, it's, you know, suicide is selfish. And of course, I think most normal teenage kids think of suicide at least once in their lives. I mean, I know I did. Um, I don't anymore after I heard that story. It's like, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty fucked up. Um, but I always thought it's a cowardly way to go out. Um, now I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that about this kid. Uh, what do you, what? Because here's the, here's the thing. I was lucky. I mean, if I had ever come, and I, like I told you, I, you know, I had thought about suicide as a teenager. But it, if it had ever come to something drastic, my father would have accepted me. And so I'm so lucky, you know, and I look back and think, wow. And, you know, we it's so easy for us to say Darum Ravi. Even I Twittered today, I said Darum Ravi, the guy, the, the roommate guy who, um, who, you know, exposed him, you know, forcibly took him out of the closet, who videotaped him secretly. I said, he is the new face. This is the new face of, of douchebaggery. Or this is the new face of being a douche, whatever. He's, he's a douche. That's true. And I think he should pay. I really do. I think his name should be ruined forever. I think he should, you know, he should suffer for this. Because uh, he, really, he really fucked up. Molly Way, I don't know anything about. It looks like she was kind of like just watching passive. It looks like she was, I don't know anything about it. You know, maybe she deserves it too. Who knows? But this guy's the one that seems to be behind it. However, here's the other problem uh, that we're not thinking about. It's that Tyler Clementi felt that he had to commit suicide. This is the kind of environment that he's in. And it's not just his family's environment. It's America's environment. It still exists now. I mean, go on to any of these, any YouTuber's page who's gay, openly gay, or anyone who's defending homosexuals, whatever, and you will see so much homophobia or anti-gay remarks. It's, it's really disgusting. So for those of you who are out there in society, and you hear shit like that happening. I hope you step up. I hope you. I hope you'll be brave and let people know that when they, you know, exhibit or uh, their voice their, their bigoted opinions, that you shut them down and you show them there's nothing wrong with being gay. Because if we had more of a society like that, this kid Tyler Clementi might still be alive today. So yeah, it's easy to 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 blame Darum Ravi and blame his family for not you know, creating an environment that made him feel comfortable enough to come out. But it's not just that. It's America, too. And that's just something I wanted to say. So, like I said, I don't usually try to, I try to keep this. I try to think to myself, I'm going to keep giving me a break, man, for fun stuff, weird stuff, you know, interesting stuff. But I guess, was, you know, I, gotta, I had to get that off my chest. And you're not going to like the next video either because it's about death. So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys.